This is Polish Pete, and these are my top late summer tactics. These are the three things that I start my day off with if I'm fishing a body of water in the late summer, at least the top three anyway, that, that I go out and I try and figure out how I'm gonna catch them and pattern the fish in the late summer months. I usually like to start off finding the thickest vegetation I can find, the most topped out summer vegetation. And as you get later into the summer, that vegetation's at its peak. It's about to start actually dwindling off as those nights get cooler, but I'm gonna find that topped out, thickest vegetation that grew up during the summer that could congregate the most fish and some, sometimes the biggest fish. And the best way to do that is to get yourself a tungsten weight, a big EWG hook or a flipping style straight shank hook and a plastic and go flipping. So this is the Texas rig. I like the craw tube. I like ones that have a little bit more action to them too, like a, a striking rage bug or even a big menace grub. Um, there's there's op options are endless as far as it comes to flipping baits that you can Texas rig. But my confidence lies in the old school craw tube here. I prefer to use a ringed, ringed EWG hook when I flip this. I think my landing percentage goes up quite a bit and I think that ring helps give it freedom of motion as it falls and I think it helps me my hookup percentage. I don't know how, it just somehow does. Uh, a lot of people have switched to that strength shank style flipping hook and that's a confidence thing. Uh, I've got friends that land them more with that style hook. I personally think I, I land them better with this style of hook uh, for Texas rigging personally. I like to use a bobber stop or a weight peg like this. Uh, I love to try and get away with what I've got here and that straight braided line, if I can. If I'm not fishing somewhere where the fish are super spooky or the water's gin clear and the vegetation isn't that thick, I love to try and get away with Texas rigging with straight braided line. I think uh, it doesn't matter because I'm usually getting a reaction bite out of this thing coming, falling through the vegetation. Uh, I think the biggest key to the late summer style Texas rig fishing is finding the thickest, the, the thickest vegetation, the most topped out vegetation that's out in deeper water that's grown all the way up to the surface and it is the most congregated mass of, of vegetation. So therefore the braided line to me isn't a disadvantage, disadvantage having it tied direct. So that's the first technique that I, I like to use. Next up, if I'm not getting bit in that thick, super thick vegetation, I find the edge of that vegetation. Whether it's an inside weed line, an outside weed line, preferably if I can find something that has some hard bottom transition to it. Something with a little rock or gravel or something mixed in that's on the edge of that thick vegetation that those summertime bass like to hide in. If they pull out of that vegetation, I think they prefer being around that harder bottom. Crayfish live there, bluegills tend to congregate around it, other, other, spe uh, other forage species as well. That's when I go to, in the summer, the finesse style jig, a structure jig as well. I like to use this style, which is a brown ball head jig because I, to me, I can fish it a little bit like a football jig and it's also a small compact presentation. This particular one here, I have a Z-Man hula stick on the back of and it floats this thing up. So I kind of get that finesse Ned rig presentation, but I get it in a package of a jig that I think a lot of fish scoop up and eat, uh, especially bigger fish. So if I can't catch him with that, that Texas rig presentation, that vegetation, I move to harder structure around adjacent to, close to that vegetation, and I switch to a structure or a finesse jig. And lastly, if I can't catch him doing one of those two things, it's time to bust out the spinning rod. And sometimes that can be a nightmare for some of us, but you gotta do it sometimes. It catches a lot of fish. It catches them all year round. And I go to the drop shot. The drop shot catches fish when they're negative, they're not feeding that much. I get into the, 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 that, hard veg, or that hard bottom composition that I was talking about that's adjacent to that vegetation, I start there. If I'm not catching them there with a the drop shot, then I'm gonna move out even deeper to main lake points any sort of offshore structure that I want to target whatsoever, a drop shot catches them everywhere. Uh, basically, I can look for inside turns, points, humps in the lake. I can look at my map on my, on my uh, electronics and just find 
changes in the structure in the main lake out in the deeper water and basically go drag this thing around and all those and find and locate where those fish are, fish are actively feeding. So those three tactics to review are the Texas rig, a structure or finesse jig, I lump those two together, and the drop shot. Between those three, you're gonna find, locate, and catch some late summer bass. Go catch them.